Janet Jackson is an American singer, dance choreographer, actress, and producer who rose to prominence alongside her world famous family, the Jacksons, in the late 1970s. I'll be sharing, you be sunny, okay? Uh uh, that's my part. <laughs> Since breaking off on her own, Janet has arguably become the second biggest member of the family next to her late brother Michael, and certainly she's the member of the family with the greatest career longevity. As someone who's been famous since the age of 10 years old, it shouldn't come as any surprise to find out that Janet has lived in some of the nicest homes in the world over the years everywhere from Malibu, California to a penthouse in Trump Plaza, New York, to a townhouse half the world away in London, England. These days, Janet can be found living in London with her son Issa, sticking close by her former husband, billionaire Wassam Almana, whom she met back in 2010 and then divorced a few years ago. Since moving out of the townhouse the family shared with one another, Janet is reportedly renting another place close by. And while it's unclear if Janet walked away with any of her ex-husband's substantial wealth during their divorce proceedings, she's doing all right for herself still with an estimated net worth of close to $190 million. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. How's it going guys and girls? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour. This one taking a look at the series of different homes that Janet Jackson has lived in over the years. If I'm being honest with you guys, Janet has kept a pretty tight lid on the details of her home, so while we have records of almost all of them, what they're like on the inside is a little harder to view, but I'll give you all the details I can. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now, let's get into this video. To kick things off, we're jumping in the time machine and going way back, and I do mean way back, to Janet's childhood home in Gary, Indiana. This tiny house is located on Jackson Street and is reportedly a two bedroom home. Janet used to live here with her entire family, including her six other siblings, and she'd share a bedroom with all of them. My mother has this attachment with the house in Gary, Indiana, 2300 Jackson Street. She loves that place. She's always kept it up. She's redecorated and she loves going there. She just loves doing that. Janet actually stopped by this home only a couple of years ago to visit. She was greatly overwhelmed by her emotions and told the Northwest Indiana Times. When I saw the house, I just started crying. Me and my family are so blessed. I'm so thankful. Janet moved out of this home when she was only three years old. The last time she had visited prior to this moment was when she was about eight. Thank you. At least I'm 300 Jackson's always home. From the humblest beginnings to the top of the mountain, Janet's next home will show you just how far her career was able to take her. One of the very first homes that Janet ever bought for herself after her career took off was this stunning Malibu beachfront property located on Pacific Coast Highway. She bought this 5,658 square foot home in 1991 for $4.1 million, which I'm pretty sure in today's dollars is like a billion gazillion, but I may need someone who's good with numbers to double check that for me. Janet would hold on to this property for a number of years, selling it in the mid 2000s for 8.5 million, which means she more than doubled her investment in the place. Before moving on from the property, Janet gave an interview with Primetime that offered a brief glimpse inside of this property. I love walking in right here with this. Honey, we're home! <laughs> Next up is a home that by all records Janet still owns, a penthouse located in the Trump International Hotel and Tower Condominium located at 1 Central Park West in Manhattan. Janet first purchased this unit back in 1998 for an estimated $2.8 million according to public records. Her apartment is located on the 34th floor and has some of the best views in the entire building overlooking Central Park. It features 2,094 square feet of living space, 3 bedrooms and 3 baths. It also houses a 28 foot foot long L shaped living and dining room combo area. For the most part, Janet has gone with a semi opulent and dark hued decor to complement the floor to ceiling windows and their remarkable views. The kitchen is accessible from the living room and isn't all that large, but it's well equipped with a washer and dryer combo stacked in a nearby closet and has its own tiny dining alcove in front of a fairly remarkable window with a great view. Build in residents can enjoy five star hotel services like health club access with pool and spa, maid and valet 
parking, a business center, and 24-hour room service from high-priced eatery Jean Georges. Back in 2014, Janet decided to lease this bad boy for 35k a month, but it only lasted for a short period of time. With her recent divorce, Janet has probably been using this home more often than she used to, and she also had the locks changed once her divorce was finalized about three years ago. Not too long after first picking up that penthouse, Janet also bought this gorgeous home just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. The rumor is that Janet actually bought this home for her family, either for her mother or her sister Rebby, who are both said to reside in the state of Nevada. She purchased this property back in 2002 for around 520k. The home reportedly features 4,636 square feet. Unfortunately, that's about all we really know about the place, and considering it's the home to her family members, that doesn't surprise me all that much. Most celebrities like to keep their family as shielded from the media as possible. In Janet's case, that's kind of ironic considering how her parents did the exact opposite to her when she was just a child. But hey, I guess it's worked out for everyone. Alright, before we bring this video to an end, we're gonna quickly check in on a couple places that Janet has lived more recently. After meeting businessman Wassam Almana in 2012, the two were married two years later and eventually had their son Issa in January of 2017. A mere three months later, their marriage was over. Just want to keep it real with you guys for a second. Uh... Yes, I separated from my husband. We are in court and the rest is in God's hands. While still married, Janet and Wissam lived in a swanky Mayfair townhouse located in the heart of London, England. Unfortunately, the only pictures we really have of this place are from when Janet was moving out. Wissam is worth an estimated 820 million pounds, and one has to assume that the townhouse they both shared must be in his name and owned wholly by him since Janet was the one that got the boot. After moving back stateside for a couple of years, Janet returned to England in 2019 and has reportedly found another townhouse not too far from the home she shared with with Wissam. Much like her previous townhouse, the only images we have of Janet and this new place are from when she was getting picked up outside of it. As far as how nice this new place looks on the inside, well I can only guess, but Janet did share a recent photo on social media that shows how she's keeping busy with her son during the worldwide quarantine, building dollhouses with him. Like I said, not really all that much to go on, but with a net worth of close to 200 million, I can only imagine that Janet and her baby boy are still living in the very lap of luxury. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this video here. What did you guys think of the different homes that Janet Jackson has lived in over the years? Any favorite in particular? Let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram to get in touch and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!